Hello students, welcome back. In previous video, we have discussed formation of ionic bond. We know that ionic bond is formed due to transfer of electrons from one atom to another atom. But is it always possible the formation of bond due to transfer of electrons from one atom to another atom? Let us discuss one example. When two hydrogen atoms come close to each other, then do they transfer the electron from one atom to other atom? No, it is not possible. Why? Because hydrogen atom has only one electron in its outermost orbit. When two hydrogens are come close to each other, then how they transfer the electron? Only it has one electron. So it is not possible to transfer the electron then how the bond is formed between these two hydrogens the bond is formed due to mutual sharing of electrons by these two hydrogen atoms the first hydrogen contributes one electron and the second hydrogen also contributes one more electrons then this and a pair of electron is one pair of electrons is formed then this pair is mutually shared by these two hydrogens and then it forms the molecule of hydrogen gas. So here sometimes the bond also formed due to mutual sharing of electrons. So this type of bond is called as covalent bond. In the covalent bond, the bond is formed due to mutual sharing of electrons. The elements the each atom contributes electrons and pair of electrons are formed these pair of electrons are mutually shared by the two atoms let us discuss some more examples let us discuss the formation of fluorine so fluorine we know that the fluorine has two electrons in its inner orbit and seven electrons in its outer orbit second orbit it has fluorine has two electrons in first orbit and seven electrons in second orbit similarly one more fluorine that is also same it has two electrons in its inner orbits and seven electron in its outer orbits when two fluorines come close to each other then we know that the fluorine has seven electrons in second orbit or in outermost orbits when two fluorines come close to each other then the first fluorine contributes one electron and the second fluorine also contributes one electron so these two electrons forms a pair of electrons and this pair of electrons is mutually shared by two fluorines so in this way this pair of electrons is shared by two fluorines this bond is said to be covalent band and this sharing of one pair of electrons is denoted as single bond so this is single bond one pair of electrons shared in between two fluorines okay similarly let us dis discuss the formation of the oxygen we know that oxygen has six electrons in its outermost orbit and one more oxygen also has six electrons in its outermost orbit so two oxygens have two lone electrons and here also oxygen has two lone electrons the first oxygen and second oxygen contributes two two electrons and forms two pair of electrons and these two pairs of electrons mutually shared by mutually shared by two oxygens so 
these are the electrons pair of electrons mutually shared by two oxygen then it gets both gets octet configuration this oxygen 1 2 3 4 and 4 electrons 8 electrons and the second oxygen also 2 plus 2 4 plus 4 8 electrons then it forms this bond is said to be double bond two pairs of electrons are shared between two oxygens so this bond is said to be double bond similarly the formation of that nitrogen nitrogen gas so formation of nitrogen gas and nitrogen has five electrons in outermost orbit and second nitrogen also has five electrons in outermost orbit then the nitrogen two nitrogen contributes three three electrons then two nitrogens shares three pairs of electrons three pairs of electrons mutually then the first nitrogen gets eight electrons in outermost orbits and second nitrogen also gets eight electrons in outermost orbit so in this way the nitrogen gas is formed so here the bond is triple bond because three pair of electrons are shared between two nitrogens so this bond is said to be triple bond now let us discuss the formation of methane we know that carbon has four electrons in its outermost orbit and four hydrogens have single electrons in its outermost orbit so carbon contributes four electrons and four hydrogens contributes four electrons and four pairs of electrons are formed so carbon forms the bond four bonds with four hydrogen atoms four hydrogen atoms carbon shares four pairs of electrons with four hydrogen this is first pair with first hydrogen and second pair of electrons with uh, shared with second hydrogen third and fourth so four single bonds are formed between the hydrogen and carbon during the formation of methane similarly let us discuss the formation of ammonia formation of ammonia ammonia the formula of ammonia is the formula of ammonia is nh3 so we know that nitrogen has lone electron three lone pair electrons five nitrogen has five electrons in its outer most orbit and three hydrogens have single electrons in its first orbits nitrogen contributes three electrons nitrogen contributes three electrons and forms three covalent bonds with three hydrogens the first pair of electrons with first hydrogen second pair of electrons with second hydrogen in this way nitrogen forms three covalent bonds with three different hydrogens in this way ammonia is formed then let us discuss the formation of water molecule we know that the oxygen has six electrons in its outermost orbit and two hydrogens have single electron its first orbit so the oxygen forms two bonds with contributes two electrons and two hydrogens also contributes two two electrons and the bond is formed between oxygen and hydrogen two single two covalent bonds are formed between oxygen and hydrogen then this is in this way the water molecule is formed so this is about the covalent bond covalent bond is formed due to mutual sharing of electrons between two atoms and 
the covalent compounds generally they have bond energies and bond lengths and what is bond length when the covalent bond is formed the nuclei of the two atoms they set at particular distance the distance between two nuclei of the atoms are said to be bond length similarly the bond energy the energy required to disassociate the covalent bond or energy required to break the covalent bond is said to be bond energy this is about covalent bond thank you